Let's say you're a time traveler who traveled to Pompeii on the morning that Mount Vesuvius erupted. That would place you less than six miles away from a mountain releasing one and a half million tons of molten rock per second and producing 100,000 times the thermal energy of the Hiroshima bomb. You would think you would end up like this guy. But surprisingly, that isn't necessarily the case. If you moved quickly and you knew where to go, you would have a reasonable chance to survive. The reason why is that even though Vesuvius was the most powerful in its initial stages, that counterintuitively made it safer. The reason why is that magma contains dissolved carbon dioxide. It is, in essence, carbonated, like a can of soda. So when Vesuvius popped, it exploded like a champagne bottle. That sounds dangerous, but it actually gives you time. The power of the explosion sent the gas cloud more than 20 miles into the stratosphere, which is good because the gas cloud is hot enough to melt lead and the stratosphere is the safest place for it. That buys you time, but unfortunately, just like a shaken can of soda, the magma soon lost its carbonation. Instead of rising 20 miles high, it rose only a few hundred feet, then sank and flowed down the mountainside. This cloud is called a pyroclastic surge, and is often a volcano's most dangerous phase. It's a mix of hot gas and ash, like a superheated sandstorm, only it moves at highway speeds. Late in the afternoon of the eruption, a pyroclastic surge like this one rolled through Pompeii and killed anyone who remained. These look like obsidian, but they're actually pieces of vitrified brain that archaeologists discovered in Pompeii, which is what happens when your brain is hit by a gas cloud hot enough to melt lead. So obviously, you need to run. The question is, where? The wind blew south that morning, which carried the volcano's ash cloud over Pompeii. At first, the ash just fell like snow, and many people took cover. But clearly, this was a mistake. You can't run to the beach and escape by sea because the wind and waves are against you. You can't run east because the mountains block your escape. That leaves south, away from the volcano, or north, towards it. You would think you should try to run south, away from the volcano, but because the wind blew south that morning, you would actually have much farther to go. Archaeologists have found most of the bodies to the south of the volcano, and Pliny the Elder died here in the town of Stabia after trying to sail to the rescue of those in trouble. So instead, you should run north, past Herculaneum, and all the way to Naples. It's about 13 miles, but you have five hours, so just keep a walking pace, and you should be fine. 